sky. Hey guys. Hi. Today I'm here with my mom and we're gonna be baking cookies. Woo! Okay, we're making peanut butter cookies because I've been craving them for like a week and a half, so we're finally gonna make some. Yeah, we already got the like ingredients and stuff. We have the measuring spoon, measuring cup, the bowl, and everything else. And the ingredients. Where's we're the still salt? missing some ingredients actually. Margarine. Look at how hard this is. Listen. Oh. Listen. <gasps> oh my god. Look at how tall. Margarine, brown sugar, white sugar, eggs, peanut butter, vanilla, salt, baking soda, and flour. We're gonna do a transition. You ready? We're back. Yes, I'm aware my bangs are dangling, but every time I put them behind my ears, they just fall right back, so we're not gonna deal with that. Okay, hands are clean, hair's tied, aprons are on, we're good to go. Step one, preheat the oven. What do we preheat it to? 350. Uh, Done. You know what? First, actually, key point when making cookies, always mix your sugar with your margarine first and cream it together. Once it's creamy, then you go on to the next step. So first, half a cup of margarine. There's crumbs. You don't take it where there's crumbs. Oh. I'm not supposed to mention the crumbs. Half a cup of margarine. Now, sugar. Yes, please. Yeah. Half a cup of that. This one's sticky. It's fucking You can pat it down to make sure you have, because there's always little lumps <gasps> in the brown sugar. Do you ever see those satisfying videos on like TikTok? They have like kinetic sand and they take like a, it looks like this and they like beat the sand and it makes such a satisfying noise. And that's what this reminds me of when I was like doing this. I'll put a clip of it in and I'll show you what I mean. Next step, once it's creamed together, there's gonna be egg and vanilla. But to make sure you don't get eggshells in your egg, always crack it into something else first, then dump it into your bowl, just to be safe, because you don't wanna be crunching on no eggshells in your cookies. One egg, we'll put it over here first. We're good, no eggshells. Your vanilla plunk. Vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon. I like adding little extras to my desserts. Cinnamon. Give it some flavor. Maple. Flavor. It can be your, my goodness. It could be your, <laughs> your little secret ingredient, whatever it is that you wanna spice it up with. A little much. Next, you mix it. I'm gonna make one heart shaped cookie because peace and love on earth. All right, next step. Flour. This isn't gonna end well. Doesn't she do that well? Oh, pretty much dead on. I'm missing a little like bit this. more. That, yeah. Just a little bit. It's so soft. Shake it a little bit. And force. Leave it here because I like mixing all my dry stuff together really good. Then I dump it into my mixture. So Ooh. next, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Just also in French. Anywho. Oh. She's making a mess. I'm literally not this messy. What's happening? Okay, that's good. Perfect. That's good. So get a fork and just mix all that up. Perfect. Go here. Mix it together. If you over mix flour, it will get really. Perfect. 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 Oh, we didn't put the peanut butter. Oops. <laughs> we forgot to put the peanut butter and the chocolate chips. Okay, my favorite chocolate is Reese Flour Cup. So we got like Reese chocolate chips. We'll put half a cup. One cup of this. Well, I usually just go by eye and I put what I want. Because some people like more and some people like less. So wait, you're supposed to put your peanut butter first, silly. Whatever. Yum. 
Oh my God, that's so good. Okay, first finish mixing this because you don't wanna make the flour all clumpy and then we'll add our peanut butter. I find it fun when you add different stuff to recipes. Always follow a recipe to the T, but you can always add a little extra of something delicious to it to make it your own style. Peanut butter. Come on. The spoon is literally bending. Look, it's curved. It looks all swirly, it looks delicious. It smells really good actually. I feel so bad for people that are allergic to peanut, peanut butter, peanuts. Yes, Hello. very sorry for whoever's allergic to peanuts and can't make this recipe. I just want a, a little taste. Raw cookie dough is the best. Oh boy. What? That's really good. When Sky and her brother were little, and I used to bake, which I used to do a lot when they were little, they would always come and dig into my cookie dough. They preferred cookie I still dough do that. to regular cookie dough. Okay, I need some milk. Pan. Okay, pause, pause mom. Okay, pause. Stop. You said pause. <laughs> It says we can only make 12, but I'm gonna make them more. You can make them small, you can make them big, you can make them as you wish. You can push them down with a fork, you can leave them normal. I'm actually really anxious to taste it. These are gonna be super good, especially compared to my healthy ones. So. Yeah, she's on like a diet thing, so she can't eat stuff like this. It's a, not necessarily a diet, it's a new way of eating, Whatever. eating just healthy. So I have to make healthy cookies for myself. They're like spongy, like you're eating a literal like dish sponge. They're good, they're just the texture's a little weird. These are my peanut butter cookies that are healthy. I added some dark chocolate chips to it to give it a better taste as well because it doesn't taste as scrumptious as these ones. Oh my God, I can make like 24 of these. But they're still really good. Shape of heart. Well, I'll make it stay. Okay, I feel like as soon as I take off the heart, it's gonna like not look like a heart. Ah! Oh my god, it's so thick. Hey, bro, you we still have a whole bunch. <laughs> we have heart. plenty to make more. See? Look at the heart. <gasps> <laughs> Anywho, oh, the fork. Really, really good. Okay, time to put it in the oven. Woo! How long? How many minutes? Start by 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. Bye. We're back. Okay, the cookies are ready and they're like really freaking huge. That right there in the corner, that was the heart cookie. Oh, Sky! <laughs> Jesus! Why are they so stuck? <laughs> because they are! Oh, no, there's some on the floor! Careful, it's hot. It's hot. Taste tester of Sky's mess. Very good. I'll just be happy with water. I'm sad that it didn't stay like a heart shaped. Done. This is what they look like. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the fork in dents. It's okay. They just look a little fluffier. Look at the fat watermelon in the background. It's fucking huge. Anyhow, this is what the cookies look like finished in the plate. Okay, I already tasted it. Sorry. They look really good. Mmm. Ten out of ten. Super delicious. Yeah, so the cookies are done. 
thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little cooking slash learning experience if you want to see more like baking cooking videos with my mom comment like what you guys would want us to like make or do and we'll try our best thank you for watching love you bye guys it was a lot of fun thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you toodles bye